Hey, it's Joe from JoeColinTurner.com, helping you succeed with test automation tools. In this quick video, I just want to show you a way that I'm sometimes able to resolve object recognition issues with UFT and QTP just by doing this simple trick. Check it out. All right, as you can see here, I have a uh, .NET application, uh, a PowerScribe application. If I look at the object spy and I spy on the objects, notice how it's picking up all the fields and the windows and the buttons, uh, basically as, as, as generic win objects. And I know this is a .NET application, so uh, it's a little perplexing why it, it's just not working. So a lot of times at this point you may get frustrated, but I found that if you click on the record button, you record against the application, for some reason it starts to pick up the correct object class type within the application. So right here I'm just going to start entering text within some of the fields and, and click it on the login button. And then we'll take a look at how QTP actually recognized it while it was recording. So what's really strange is look now when we look at QTP, look how it actually recognized the correct uh, class type. So it is now picking it up as a Swift window type, uh, Swift edit buttons, the dialogues, everything is being picked up now as a .NET type application. So if I was to go and actually use the object spy again, notice now how it actually does show the correct object types as a Swift window, a Swift field, and things like that. So it is the object spy now is working. So in order to get that to work, I had to do a quick recording, and I think somehow QTP um, forces it to hook in, and then it's then able to recognize uh, the object. So that's just a quick tip, and I uh, hope it helps.